Ta-da! Hello Fantasy Gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in Sweden. The land of Logum, where nothing, not even my videos, are ever excellent, but they're also never really terrible. They're just kind of, yeah, Logum. Well, for today's A Few Simple Steps, we are going to try to build a rock lob or a catapult for the orc and goblin army that we have here. And we're going to do so by taking an old junky piece of plastic toy that we found at the local second-hand store here at Lund, Eriksjärpen. We're going to transform that from a cruddy, crappy little plastic um, piece of junk, hopefully to something that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll do a little bit of carving, a little bit of sculpting, we'll add some of our own texture and add our own paint to it, put a few little details on it, add some wheels, and see if we get something that looks like it will be worthy of playing with. Well, take a look at the video, we'll show you how I have done this, and we'll check in with you at the end when everything is all said and done. We can begin by showing you what we're going to need for this project. Uh, first of all, you're going to need your uh, base piece, your base plastic uh, toy that you're going to use to uh, sculpt and convert. Um, in addition to that, then, you're going to want to have some of your old sprues that you use when you cut your figurines out. We'll be using different pieces of this, as long as other little uh, bits here and there from other uh, Warhammer sets and pieces to add some flair to this. Um, and we'll just chop up pieces here and add them onto there directly using some super glue, of course, and our X-Acto knife. That's pretty much all you need to start your sculpting process. Let me give you a little closer look here of what this piece looks like. It's um, broken, so we're gonna have to fix that, but as you can tell, it's uh, pretty crudely made. It's not a lot of great detail. The bottom has big gaping holes. Uh, the wheels are really bad, unacceptable, so we're gonna have to do some major work here. Um, but it should be fun to, to try and uh, turn this into a nice looking piece of terrain, uh, specifically some sort of catapult slash rock lobber. The first step now, what we need to do is what I'm going to call trimming. And that's simply we're going to take off all the pieces that uh, we are not going to keep and uh, that we don't want to have on our piece. These wheels definitely need to go. Um, they are really cheap and really plasticky. They look pretty bad. Um, so what we can do is go ahead then and trim off some of these pieces here. I think we'll get rid of this loop that looks uh, just too fake. It looks um, too uh, much like a caricature. So we can go ahead and chop some of these pieces off. So now we've taken off some of those parts and I went ahead and did some scoring as well. Let me show you how this looks here. Um, for example here we took out all four of these um, poles here where the wheels used to be and we took off that hook in the front and I went ahead and did some scoring because a lot of this is really smooth plastic and we want it to look like weathered rough wood so um, I went ahead and just cut some pieces out. I left some here to show you how this works. Um, it's really easy, you can just take the front of your knife and just uh, cut in and a little bit and make some scoring um, in any sort of random pattern. It's fun to take off the edges a little bit, the sharp edges um, and that will really give it a nice weathered wood look. Um, don't worry if it, if it looks a little strange right now with the colors, we're going to um, base coat this in gray anyway, so we will get rid of all of those uh, weird different variations. But go ahead and score it up a lot um, and make it look like real rough uh, weathered kind of wood. It'll give it a really nice uh, textured look when we finally add some paint to it. I'm pretty satisfied now with how this thing has been scratched and scored, so I'm going to go ahead and add a few more details. We'll start out by adding some, uh, a little bit of rope here, of our own rope that we can paint over later. So I'm just going to take a bit of this rope and actually just wind it around this piece right here. And we also have a piece right here as well in the center here. We'll put a little rope around there as well. Take a little super glue, fasten it, wind it around. Um, we'll paint over that later, but it'll give it a li little more realistic looking texture. There's the piece now with a little bit of uh, rope around it, and here's the other piece. It looks a little strange right now because it's so brilliantly white, but once uh, we get that base coated in gray, it will look pretty good. 
Well, we can go ahead now and do our next step, which is to fix a few of the broken pieces. Um, I went ahead and made this little cross beam out of some uh, extra sprue, and we'll just stick that through here uh, like this and glue it with some super glue and attach the uh, catapult part, the catapult arm. Our catapult arm is now uh, super glued onto there. So what we can do now is flip this over and you see there's a lot of empty dead space down here. What I'd like to do is actually come and fill some of that up. Not only to give this a little more weight, but also um, to take away all that dead space. So let's take our hot glue gun here and we'll just run it in here and fill in some of this empty space here. There's a few holes here as well that can get filled. Um, both from the top and the bottom, so we'll fill those in as well. So just go ahead and fill the entire thing up here with some more nice plastic. You can see now it's all filled in on the bottom. What I'm going to do is just take my glue gun and just go along the edges here and basically just spread out some glue on the edges to take off that really sharp edge and make it seem more like uh, the wooden piece actually uh, goes around nicely. It's a little curved. Gives it a little more texture, takes off that sort of plasticky feel that you get from the, the toy um, and gives it a, a more genuine, authentic look. So when you're satisfied with that, um, go ahead and let this dry. Don't worry about all the um, see-through transparent glue. We're going to paint that up anyway. So there you go. Let that dry for a second and we can move on to the next step. For the next step now, we can go ahead and attach the wheels. Uh, the wheels now, we remember we took away those old ugly black ones and we made some other wheels. Um, we'll show you how to do that in a separate video. Uh, we can go ahead now and super glue those in place here. Uh, we got four of them, so let's do uh, one and show you how that works, and then we'll go ahead and attach the next three. So just a dab of super glue there on that axle that we cut off, and let's get our wheel there, get it centered, um, get it centered in a way that we like how it looks, the aesthetics of it, um, and just let it rest there for a few minutes. And so here is how things look now with the wheels attached. Um, if you look closely, um, I have the, the gray wheels in the front. I haven't painted the back wheels yet, um, but those really attach nicely. Um, that is going to be a good looking machine once we get it all painted up. Part of what having these coins for wheels that I really like is it makes it so heavy. This thing is so stable. Uh, it is not going to move. Uh, it's going to be firmly in place. So there we go, uh, let's let the wheels dry there. You see the bottom uh, is pretty shiny, we're gonna need some paint there. But when that's all dried up, we can go ahead and add our coat of gray paint to it. So here we have the rock lobber now, or the catapult with the gray paint on it. Um, and a few pieces of detail, we can bring this up and show you a little closer here. Uh, you can see there are the wheels now, um, those look really good, uh, all finished up, but they're nice gray coat on there. We've got a little skull detail here. We've got the rock that is glued in there. Um, I even went ahead and put an orc uh, shield up in the front. You can see how the gray paint covered everything nicely. This uh, rope in front looks really good. Uh, you can see the uh, woodworking sticks out really well. And all the areas where we roughed it up, scored the plastic, where we put the um, glue from the glue gun on it, uh, gives it a lot of really nice texture. can show you the bottom here. It looks pretty rough and gnarly underneath the bottom, so that achieved the goal that we had there. Um, and basically, we're able to take this uh, throwaway piece of garbage and turn it into a pretty impressive looking war machine. Finally now, here's a shot of our war machine. Uh, rock lobber slash catapult in play and you can see here to the left we have an, an orc figurine and to the right we have some night goblin figurines just to give you a sense of the scale it's approximately the right scale that we would want for a war machine to fit this size of miniatures so there you go a very easy way to take an old piece of junky toy and turn it into a pretty good looking piece of war machinery for your Warhammer game playing. Of course, I wouldn't want to use this in a tournament, uh, but it's always fun to have one of these around when you're at home playing with your friends. 
Um, it gives you a little extra fun and a little, uh, little interesting conversion experience, but also it allows you to have more War Machines in play when you're playing around home. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, a pretty decent looking rock lobber slash catapult. Like I said, I wouldn't use this in a tournament, but it sure will be fun to use it around here uh, to play with some friends and to just um, pull it out when I need to throw some rocks at things, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's what rock lobbers are for. Well, whatever. Uh, it's getting late. Thank you for joining us here for this A Few Simple Steps. I hope you can take what you've uh, seen here and experiment with your own uh, cruddy, crappy toys you find, transform them into something beautiful and brilliant. Send me pictures, I would love to see them, I would love to get your ideas. Thank you once again for joining us here at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.